Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will implement this little drop down thingy here that is 3D animated, as you can see. So there is a 3D rotation included. And you can basically put anything in here. You can, you don't need to make that a green box, obviously. Um, that is just that you can see that this animation here exists. And you can also put any type of composable in it. I just used a text here for simplicity, but yeah that will be useful in any of your projects. Let's jump right into it, into an empty Compose project and create our composable here called Dropdown. This Dropdown will take some parameters. On the one hand, it will take the text, which will be this text here, so the test. Um, the text telling whatever, and then if you if you want to extend that, you can open the drop-down and you will see the rest. And then we will have a modifier, which is the default modifier. We want to have a boolean, whether it's initially opened or not. I'll set that to false. And we want to have the actual content, so the composable that we want to reveal with this drop-down. So that will be a composable, just a lambda function annotated with composable, and then we can jump right into it. Uh, then uh, to start, we want to have a state that just determines if our dropdown is open or not. We say by remember, and in here we will have a mutable state of, and that will be initially whatever we passed for uh, the, our boolean initially opened. We want to scroll up to our imports, duplicate remember twice, import set value and get value. So the errors are gone. And then we want to have some states for the actual animation. So on the one hand, as you can see, the animation just fades in and fades out. So we want to have a value for just changing um, uh, the alpha value of our drop-down. And on the other hand, which is much more obvious here, is um, the rotation. And this is actually a 3D rotation. So we don't rotate it like this. Instead, it's basically, well, you can see it, how it's rotated. Um, so how this works is if we think of the different axes in our 3D coordinate system, then this horizontal axis here would be the x-axis. Um, so that is nothing new here, but that is essentially the axis we want to rotate our composable around. So our, our green box here basically, um, so that it basically rotates inside of the screen around this x-axis. So as I said, on the one hand, we will have a state here for the alpha value that we will just animate between 0 and 1. So val alpha is equal to animate float as state. Here we can then pass a target value and whenever that changes um, this function will basically animate this alpha value. So you can see how this works. We can say okay if our drop down is open then we want to have an alpha value of 1f and else of 0f. And every time this is open changes then this target value will also change and if the target value is 0 this function will animate this alpha value towards 1 and else it will animate 1 towards 0. So it's very that uh, it's really that simple. Then we will have an animation spec here just to define the, the duration of that animation. So we can pass duration millis of 300, so 300 milliseconds. And then we can copy this state, whoops, and paste it below call this one rotate x because we rotate it at, uh, around the x-axis. The target value this time won't be 1 and 0. Instead, if it's open, it will be 0 degrees. And if it's closed, it will be minus 90 degrees. So that is exactly um, this state right now. And if we now um, open this drop down, you can see it animates from minus 90 degrees to 0 degrees around the x-axis. Then we want to implement the actual composable. So this will essentially just be 
um, a column here. So the first thing of the column will just be our text and our drop down icon in a row. And then we will also have our drop down here in that column. So column, we want to pass a modifier of modifier with a lower M here dot fill max width. Let's reformat that a little bit. And then let's start with a row here that will also use a modifier dot fill max width. And we also want to assign uh, the horizontal arrangement of space between which will just push these items to the very sides of our row and the vertical alignment of center vertically. Then instead of that row we will have our single text here with the value of text. I will give this one here a color of color white. Choose what, uh, whatever you like. You could also make that a variable here and pass it as a parameter and the font size of 16 SP and import SP here. Now that was this test text here. The next thing will be our drop down icon which we can simply either import here in Android Studio um, from uh, the vector drawables or we can also use uh, the icon set that is included in Jetpack Compose by default. Um, I don't know where, but let's try. Oops. Um, so what do we have here? We have a painter. I think we can just pass icons dot default dot how is it called? Error drop down. That sounds good. It's an image vector. So we can call this uh, image vector. Let's set the content description to um, open or close the drop down. The tint will be color white. And we will attach a modifier because when we click on this icon, we want to um, toggle the drop down. Um, so the, the, the is open state, I mean. And we also want to change the icon from the down arrow to the up arrow. So let's first make it clickable, modify that clickable. Um, and here we just want to toggle the is open state. Is open is equal to is open negated. And then we can say scale. The X scale should be the same. And the Y scale should now be toggled if we um, if this is actually open. So if it is open, our Y scale should be minus 1F and that's 1F. So in case you don't know that, if we just um, uh, negate the scale on a in a specific direction, then we will just mirror this image basically. You could also just um, uh, check that here. So if it's open, use this arrow drop down and else arrow drop up or whatever that is called. But I'll do it like this, then we don't need to reload another in, uh, another image. So that is it for the top section of our drop down. Now comes the actual content part here that we actually pass as a parameter here, so the content. Um, but that is also where the animation is relevant. So below this row, I want to have a little spacer here, just having a height of, let's say 10 dp, import dp, pressing out plus enter, and then use a box with content alignment of center and the content of that box will be our content composable. And then now to um, apply that animation we want to apply modifier to that box modifier dot fill max width again and then we can use something called a graphics layer that is a very interesting because that allows us to do any kind of 3D transformation basically. Um, so of course also our 3D rotation around the x-axis. So here we can just say rotation x is equal to our um, rotate x, our state. And we can also say that the value. Well, we have to say that. 
right now this will rotate this um, content here basically around its center because the pivot is set to its center by default I think um, but we actually want to rotate it around the axis at the top of this of this box and for that we can assign something called a transform origin to just um, uh, move the pivot of that a little bit so we want to say new transform origin and here we can then say a pivot fraction um, x and a pivot fraction y pivot fraction x is not relevant here I'll set it to 50% and pivot fraction y to 0% so what this will do is it will move the uh, let's do it here um, it will move the pivot in x direction to 50% of this box and the pivot in y direction will be set to 0% of this box so right here so this will be the point um, we rotate around and because we rotate around an axis it doesn't matter if it's a point or actually an axis that's it for the 3d rotation then we also want to attach an alpha value here which we used as a state as well and that is pretty much it let's scroll up let's implement that composable here using a surface um, setting its color to color 0xff101010 and it's modified to fill max size and then inside of that surface we will have our drop down with a text hello world maybe a little bit of padding um, so modifier is equal to padding of 15 dp mm, format that a little bit and here instead of this block we can now put the content that should be revealed when we open our drop down let's just render a text here saying um, this is now revealed and adding a modifier here modifier dot fill max width we can give it a height of 100 dp just to make that a little box we can give it a background of color dot green as i did and yeah this this won't look good um i will put these arguments on one line here this won't look good but just to demonstrate that it's working let's launch this on our emulator right here and this gives us an error here what is that what um, I think we should maybe upgrade the compose version here to beta 09 and the gradle plugin to 1.5.10 I hope that fixes it. Let's do that. I should have done that anyways. Well, let's relaunch the app now. And that looks better. Here's our Hello World text and our drop down. If we click on that, you can see there is our content that is revealed with a 3D animation exactly how we want to have it. So thanks for watching. In case you want to learn more advanced Android concepts, then check this first link in this video's description, which will lead you to my website. And there you can find premium Android courses, which, well, yeah, are just more advanced than what I show on YouTube here. So if you will want to boost your Android knowledge to the next level, then check out that link. And that is also a nice way to support me and my work. I wish you an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.